And with the war taking its course between Israel and Hamas, all eyes are now on the United States of America. Washington is a key security provider in the region and an important ally of Israel. At the ouster, the White House has condemned Hamas and has pledged support for Israel as the country is faced by the biggest attack in more than a generation. In the wake of the attack, the U.S. President Joe Biden has said that Washington will offer rock-solid and unwavering support to Tel Aviv. As Israel ladders its counter-offensive, Biden assured Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu of all means of aid. Take a listen. You know, when I spoke with Prime Minister Netanyahu this morning, I told him the United States stands with the people of Israel in the face of these terrorist assaults. Israel has the right to defend itself and its people, full stop. There's never justification for terrorist attacks. Israel has the right to defend itself and its people, full stop. There's never justification for terrorist attacks. And my administration's support for Israel's security is rock solid and unwavering. Washington Secretary of State, pardon me, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken also echoed the condemnation, calling to halt the war that took Israel by a surprise. The Secretary reaffirmed U.S. support for Tel Aviv. Blinken also spoke to other regional players like the leaders of Egypt and Saudi Arabia. The respective states were urged to fasten the process of brokering peace and bringing the conflict to an end as soon as possible. It is important to note here at this point that Saudi Arabia and Israel were on the cusp of establishing diplomatic ties. The U.S. brokered a deal which was in the works for a long time. The future of that deal remains uncertain in the wake of the war. Well, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin confirmed that they are closely monitoring the war which started by the Hamas militants. He said that Israel will receive the required resources to protect its civilians who are under an attack. The statement by the U.S. comes at the heels of Israel's first counteroffensive post the attack. Tel Aviv struck back in retaliation and launched a series of air raids in Gaza, killing at least 232 people. The war, which the war has triggered after Hamas gunmen infiltrated into Israeli territory and launched a large aerial operation from the blockaded Gaza Strip. The attack followed through on the 50th anniversary of the start of the 1973 Yom Kippur War.